my Black Adam review should be out by now. But today, I'm going to talk about She-Hulk. I was going to talk about Halloween's, but instead I'm going to try and save that for a later video, because today, I want to talk about something that isn't bad. Oh, I'm just goofing. New boot goofing. She-Hulk isn't that serious. I really think you guys need to get over it. This video is going to be a long one, and I would like to talk about it in its entirety, but some of you are just really, really dumb. MCU, more like MCU, I'm a buddy, right? Disney and Marvel are so go or go broke. How could they say that a woman has more problems than the Hulk? Don't they know he tried to kill himself? This show just makes all men bad. All she talks about is sex, so she's a whore. But Iron Man's fine. It's cool when he does it. MCU peaked after Endgame. They make fun of me personally in this show, so therefore it is bad. Women don't know how to write. And they're not funny. I get on Twitter every Thursday to see these dip <laughs> criticize this show. If that's even what you call it. And it's my favorite part of the week, I'm not even gonna lie. I need to go off and state that I don't even particularly think the show is that great. But at least, I'm not a f idiot. Also, it's just a TV show. It's not even like you guys even liked She-Hulk before watching this show, or even really knew about her. I'm not super familiar with her comics, but all I know is that she breaks the fourth wall, her stories are low stakes, and she's a bit quirky and lighthearted, which is exactly what this show is. Now, when it comes to comedy, I personally wasn't with it, but the MCU in general has been losing me with this comedy. It's not really a funny comedy genre to me. But this show is geared more towards a comedy, so for me, it personally doesn't always land. I chuckled maybe a few times, but that doesn't mean I don't like the show. It has some fun scenarios for its 30 minute runtime, but can I say how much I appreciate it being such a small scale story? I am so tired of every MCU project being this giant scale world ending threat. But in this, it's mainly just like little legal studies. My favorite parts are when they're actually doing court cases. Also, it like tried new things. Like she tries dating, she has like a therapy moment. Like those were the standouts for me. I like those parts of it. They did say Daredevil is going to show up in the show. And I think that is how I got all you idiots to watch this show and still complain over Daredevil. Ugh, they ruined Daredevil. This is not how he acts in the show. And I swear that he doesn't act like that in his own comics. This is literally exactly how Daredevil is in the comics. 100% of the time, you dip. Daredevil has been serious, but he's a fun-loving guy. He cracks a joke sometimes. He's not always serious, and spoilers for the show, better stop watching now if you care, but yes, Daredevil actually has sex all the time. He's one hell of a man whore, and I'm so happy they did that in this show, because his chemistry with Jen's actually really fun is one of the best parts of the show, even though it's only in like one episode. Also, he's great in his scene in the courtroom, because he's actually being a great lawyer against Jen, and that's probably one of my favorite parts of the show, is seeing just stuff like that. Also, he's way more agile in this show than he is in his TV show, which I liked a lot, because there are actually people complaining that he's way more agile than he is in his show, which doesn't make any sense to me. This is coming from someone whose second favorite superhero show ever is Daredevil. Number one is being this one. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's Batman the Animated Series. Also, there's an episode with Wong while Jen is on Tinder dates, and I think that was also a standout episode. It might be my second favorite one next to the Daredevil one. I just think it's cute and silly, and I didn't let the drunk girl ruin it for me. I didn't think she was funny, like most of the show, but, you know, I don't let stuff like that ruin it for me. And I can just let go of annoying things like that and still enjoy this show. Also, the last episode and how it ended was fairly fun. I think... The meta fourth wall breaking isn't done as well as it is, like it is in the Deadpool movies. But I really enjoy that she goes to like this AI Kevin Feige saying all oh, this shit is formulaic, which it is. I mean, I thought Phase 4 was supposed to be Marvel trying new stuff after seeing WandaVision, but not really. And I think this show might be a good step off point to actually do it since they're literally telling Kevin Feige in his face that this is all getting super formulaic and we're all getting tired of it. I do think the giant fourth wall break is a little too big for the final episode. I think there should have been more of like a gradual build up to it, but I don't know, I still don't care. It's still like a fun show and I still liked it. One criticism is yes, the CGI doesn't always look amazing. But again, this is a recurring MCU issue, especially lately, because we're getting too much content. Give your artists some more time to get it done, and if you need to push it back, then do it. But it wasn't always that bad. Towards the end, it starts to look really great. It's like the first episode and then like the last two episodes, it looks really almost flawless with some of like her CGI work. Also, I don't entirely care because this is a small comedy show. I get bothered if this is in the films or in the, like, the really big shows, but it's just a tiny comedy show, so I don't really care that much. I think that's enough. I need to make a video on Halloween Ends and also still edit my Black Adam review as the time recording this. So I'm going to give She-Hulk like 5.5 out of 10. For those who don't know, 5 is very middle. It's not bad, and it's not entirely amazing, just very middle ground. I enjoyed watching it, but right afterwards you're not really going to think too much about it and you'll kind of just like pass it on. I hope the show gets a season 2 and improves on its humor, but for me I kind of want it to feel more like a sitcom instead of like, oh, I'm sorry that's my cat. I 
I hope it feels more like a sitcom than whatever they were trying to do for this show. Uh, I just think the comedy didn't really work for me, but again, I still like had fun watching it from like the week to week basis. Anywho, if you enjoyed my review, you should check out my other ones or check out my most recent short film. I'm very surprised, uh, but as of right now, it has over 1,400 views. Thank you all so much for the support and soon I will re-release in 4K because YouTube's compression is nasty. Really kind of f***ed up. But next behind that will be a behind the scenes video, Halloween ends review, and hopefully my Black Adam review should be out by then. And then, I mean, October's wrapping up pretty fast. I was trying to do an October Halloween theme video, but I don't know. I've been extremely busy, so I think Defacer is going to be your Halloween special video and the behind the scenes. But I'll try and do one more thing if I can. Maybe talk about a Halloween or horror thing that I like. Anywho, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.